Now I'd like to invite um, Michelle Williams. Some of you may recognize her name. Since she speaks quite often on WGMD, I wanted to give you an opportunity to see her in person and hear her heart. I've been told to keep it to five minutes. As an Air Force officer and veteran, I've taken an oath dozens of times. Upon my commission, upon each promotion in rank, and a similar version when I re-enlisted those service members. The shortened version goes something like this. I, Michelle Williams, do solemnly affirm that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I take this obligation freely, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office about which I am to enter. So help me God. I got to scratching my head saying, who else takes this oath? Well, in Article 6, Clause 3 of the Constitution, other people that take the oath are senators, representatives, members of certain state legislatures, all executive and judicial officers, and federal officials. On top of that, when the president takes the oath, he, quote, will do the best of his ability to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. But honestly, when I look over these last 30 years in the military, I am appalled at myself to say that I really had a superficial understanding of those words of that oath. But it wasn't until I retired in 2015 that I heard somebody talking about Article 5 to make amendments to the Constitution that I wanted to learn more. So what did this Constitution really mean? How was it being used? Why was the media reporting on one thing, but I opened my eyes around me and I'm seeing things differently? I had to ask myself, was I living under a rock? Was I just happy in my small little world, denying whatever was in front of me and avoiding my own critical thinking? And I looked around to all my family and friends. I got no answers because they were just like me in my thinking. I could no longer stand for this disregard of the truth that I sought. So as they say, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. I went to learn about the grassroots movement of the Convention of States and what all this hubbub was all about. So it began to tug on my heart a little bit. Yes, I signed the petition and yes, I too went on my merry way. But over the next few months, COS just kept on tugging at my heart. So like you, I'm very busy. Like other military members, when we retire, even though our uniform comes off, our service does not stop. So I continue to vote, uh, volunteer for several local organizations. And I also work a full-time job. So I told myself, just like Ginny said that the gentleman on the phone told him, I certainly can't take on another thing and certainly not another volunteer activity. But over the months, and I'm feeling sometimes just like you, enough is enough and it kept building. The mask mandates and restrictions at hospitals that kept me from entering my father's room while he was dying the Vax pack passport that I don't have kept me from serving on a board for health and housing. And then the spending of money on other countries when we have working people in this country that can't, afford, can't find affordable housing, veterans and others who are homeless, increased drug overdoses because of the openness of our borders bringing in adulterated substances. Aren't you supposed to put the oxygen mask on yourself before you put it on others? So now enough is enough is way too loud. 
And like the anchor man, Howard Beale in the movie Network, for those of you that are young enough to remember, I'm mad as heck and I'm not going to take this anymore. So I raised my hand for the Convention of States and the rest is my history. What I love about the Convention of States and being a volunteer is that I'm surrounded with patriots like you. Americans, Americans that care about their present and about their future generations, like the little gentleman I is sitting under a tree over there that I can't see. Yes, that's you. <laughs> so, and the other thing the Convention of States did, I told you I was so wanting to learn about the Constitution. Well, they taught me. And I realized that this little guy here isn't being followed. So the Convention of States movement has the solutions that are bigger than the problem. I am so grateful for seeing all of you out there who are listening and wanting to get your questions answered. I'm very thankful to WGMD 92.7 FM, and I know that there's people out there, and especially my good friend Jake Smith, who always gives me time to talk about what I love, and that's Convention of States. So you're here because you wanna learn with your critical skills, with your critical thinking skills, not what somebody's going to tell you or what you heard on the media. And hopefully you will join our grassroots efforts here in Delaware. We have a country to save and we need your help in our backyard in Delaware. Thank you.